Yes, roomies, welcome back to another video and thanks for joining me and happy new year and hope you had a great Christmas. But we're gonna start 2022 off with a new build. Well, sort of, we're gonna get it unboxed, check out the lighting and get it in a new place in the room. So if you don't wanna miss out on that, then make sure you stay tuned because that's all coming up right after this. Welcome back. So we've got the tank unboxed. So this is my third ADA. Sorry, just grabbing my knife. This is my third ADA aquarium, and this is the biggest one I've had so far. So obviously we've got the 45p. We've also got a 30p. But this, a lot of axcapers would consider a perfect size tank for beginners, just because it holds enough volume of water that the water will stay stable but it's not too expensive to scape because of the size. But this is this measures 60 centimeters across and it just comes with some hooks so you can add the lid on if you need to. Uh, so it's 60 centimeters across and it's 30 centimeters front to back and 36 centimeters high and it holds 17 gallons. I think the glass is obviously an Opti white glass and it's six mil thick, I believe. So we'll just get this out of here now. So I don't know about you, but I really get excited about a glass box, but that's the way it is, that's the hobby. But I'm really looking forward to escaping this because I got a scape in mind and I bought the wood for this maybe two years ago um, because I had an idea of escape I wanted to make and that is going in here. So I've got an idea of fish, but if you wanna let me know in the comments what style of scape you would like to see in here and what you would stock it with, then let me know. But I think we gotta check out what we're gonna light this with as well. So why don't we get that unboxed? So I do really like these ADA Axkai um, lighting, but I think this one, I don't know if it's just this size, has been discontinued, because when I bought it, I did buy one originally, and then I got told they were discontinued, but did manage to track one down. Now I do like this because it does bring out the greens and a lot of the darker colors, and I don't want this to be an overly colorful tank. There is gonna be more than just green in the tank, but I want it to be a bit more of a moody look, maybe use some boosters, some crypts, and generally get that sort of feel to it. Now, like you see, the light has a um, acrylic sides to it just to make it look a little bit cleaner, matching with the clean look of the tank. Now, I think this is 900 to 1200 lumens, and I think it's about 7000 to 8000 Kelvin, just so you got an idea. But this does bring out, it's not like an RGB like we've got on the ADA 45P, which brings out the pinks and the reds and the greens. This is going to highlight certain plants. But we need to get this in a new home upstairs, but we need to clear some room and make a new home for it. So let's just crack on with today's video.
So we finally got the old racking out of there. Now I did have to wash down the wall a little bit and add a bit of paint. There's a little bit of mess because the open top tanks, but it was a bit of a pain to move this tank, which is a 45p. Now this does need a little bit of a work, but I've been saving this to do in a video because we've been trying to revive this setup. So that'll be coming very soon. Now I did also have to move this tank as well, which is my 20 gallon, which did kick up a little bit of mulm, um, but the fish seem happy enough. Um, but now we need to get the new racking in, which is this here, and we need to assemble that. Now this is gonna be a lot stronger for me to add some new scapes on, like the 60p you see downstairs. And um, we'll probably add another 60p and add the 45p on there. But I know those of you love the Garamis, and I can't see them anywhere. Well, there's one. Hello. But let's crack on with today's video. So we got the racking in place. So some good news and some bad news. So the bottom we're gonna be added, we'll leave that space to add the canister filters for each of the shelves. Now then we'll add escape on this shelf here, which I haven't added the wood in before. A 60p here, 60p there, and then we'll add the 45p at the top. But something I've noticed, the boards that come with it per fit perfectly fine, but they're probably about three mil thick. So because this shelving unit is about 80 centimeters across, so that way, this tank is gonna go on here 60 centimeters, so it's gonna sit in the middle. And I think this is a bit too thin. I don't think it'll push through, but it'll definitely bow. So I think we're gonna to need to go and get some better plywood for the shelves. Okay, so I think this is what we need. You should go and cut the size. So we've got the wood that we need for the shelves now, but as you can see, this is the wood that come with the shelving itself, and that's the difference of what we bought today. So a lot stronger. Probably gonna to need to paint them or stain them just to make them a bit more waterproof. But we've come across yet another problem. So when I measured this, so I measured the alcove across at the back, I measured the space in the bottom, but I didn't measure the space at the bottom right at the back. Now for some reason the wall just tapers in and made it slightly too small. So this won't push back any further than that, which is causing a bit of a problem with this tank because that tank is blocking it. Now if there's a bit of a space, it doesn't look that bad, but we're gonna need to rethink where we're gonna put this rack.
So that was a lot of painting, but it is done. I'm waiting for two of the shelves still to dry, but most of them are dried because I use a hairdryer over them. So if you want to speed up the process of getting them dry, you can add another coat on, that's a good tip, or use a heat gun. But it is a shame we haven't managed to move the rack into its final position because it doesn't fit. But the good news is we're going to need to rearrange the room, which means there's going to be more opportunities for new enclosures, new setups, and that sort of thing, which I know you guys really like. But in the next video, we will have a little uh, we'll have a little move around of the room. We'll add the rack in, and then obviously we'll look at escaping this tank. Like I mentioned earlier, I've got another 60p idea, which is going to go on the shelf beneath it. So if you don't want to miss out on any of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. But a good start to the new year, a new setup on the horizon with plenty more to follow. But as always, I really appreciate you checking out this video today and I'll catch you in the next one.